Hey, what's going on everybody? So, I just kind of wanted to give a little recap here for some of the events that are going to be happening with EverQuest soon. So, just to start things off, the new Time Lock Progression servers, Vaniki and Yelenak, are going to be launching next week. I say next week, but it's quite literally May 25th. That's just a couple of days away. Uh, we have Vaniki, which is the achievement server, and Yelenak, which is the classic progression server. So uh, Vaniki is going to be lots of achievements. Um, so we're just going to kind of recap here what some of those achievements are. Um, server will release on May 25th. It is a level locked progression server that will be released at Gates of Discord. Expansion with a level cap of 40. It will have Mangler EXP progression, Agents of Change enabled, Pick Zones enabled, and True Box enabled. And just, just a little bit more information for uh, whenever Prophecy of Row unlocks, True Box rules will be relaxed to allow three clients per computer. And when the Buried Sea unlocks, True Box will be entirely disabled. So that is Vaniki. I'm also going to put up another uh, screenshot here for you. Uh, this is the updated release schedule here for Vaniki. This is something that was announced just a couple of weeks ago due to player feedback. This is what they're looking at for Vaniki. So this gives you the unlock schedule as far as like, you know, the very start. We're starting here, level cap level 40, gates of discord unlocked, and then so on and so forth. And then we have the rewards here. This uh, just kind of gives you a general idea for the rewards that you can kind of expect. You know, starting at level 40, you'll have uh, the goal of Kazakh Thule. You know, he gives you a reward that grants low stat. Uh, it's a low stat improvement, but it has unlimited charges. So that's a nice little food buff that you'll get here. You got 50, then 55, and so on. And they've got it all the way down to 115. That's just a general idea for Vaniki. That's what you have to look forward to if you're going to Vaniki. For you classic progression people, we have Yelenak. This is going to be another time lock progression server with also Mangler experience progression. You've got Agents of Change, Pick Zones, and Truebox still enabled. This one, however, when Omens of War unlocks, Truebox rules will be relaxed to allow three clients per computer. And when the Buried Sea unlocks, Truebox will be entirely disabled. Uh, the unlock schedule that they announced just recently as well. Uh, here you go. You've got eight weeks after launch, Ruins of Kunark. Eight weeks later, Scars of Alias. Eight, eight weeks later, you've got Lucklin. And then eight weeks later, you've got Planes of Power and Legacy of Yukisha. Then a whopping 12 weeks later, Lost Dungeons of Norath. And then just a single month later, Gates of Discord. And then at this point, the schedule becomes consistent, uh, you know, expansions every 12, 12 weeks with the new level cap is unlocked, and 8 weeks for expansions where the level cap stays the same. Just some information on this. Yes, this will still be true box as well. I know we've already covered uh, when that uh, relaxes and when that is removed. Um, let me see here. So just again, uh, a couple of questions right here. It says, will the accelerated king uh, implemented for Vexal be included on this server? Yes, we made that the change. We made that change to apply to all progression servers. And additionally, they will also be doing something similar for Omens of War. And another question, why is Yelenak using a standard progression server rule set and not any other special rules? And their answer was, there's a strong demand for a classic progression server, and this is to satisfy that demand. While there are voices for other rule sets, we find it best to have something traditional along with something different like the Vaniki server. If your guild is anything like mine, we are sticking with mischief. The whole point of me making this post is I wanted to kind of let everybody know that uh, the guild, for the most part, we've all agreed to stay with mischief. I say we all, but there might be a couple of people here and there that might in, end up deciding to leave. I think the biggest thing that's going to end up happening, there might be some people who leave for these new servers, but a lot of people I think will come back within a month or two once they've either decided that they don't like what's going on with the other two servers or they've already achieved what they wanted to and they're going to come back to mischief. You know, everything is super random, it's all free trade, and there have been so many people I've seen just in general announcing that they plan to stay on mischief. There was even like a whole big major guild 
that moved over from Thornblade to Mischief. So just to kind of get ahead of the curve, they've already made all their characters on Mischief and they're just gonna stick with Mischief now. I don't expect the population to drop any noticeable amount. If it does, like I said, I expect it to bounce back pretty quick. Um, so yeah, anybody who still wants to join on Mischief server and join us in the guild, you're welcome to. Um, as I've said many times, and I keep telling my guild this, if we have enough people who have an interest in raiding, I would be happy to raid. Um, do I blame you for leaving? If you end up deciding that we're not moving fast enough or anything like that, I don't blame you at all. So please feel free to come in if you want this to be like a casual guild where you just hop in and chat and group. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if the more people we get, the better, the more likely we are end up to return to raiding. The poll results that I was joking about before, uh, my last poll that I posted was talking about what, uh, <laughs> uh, what class is the best to take a death touch and it's very apparent that everybody in general just hates rangers uh, from my ranger to you i have to say i agree rangers might get a lot of shit but they're a lot of fun but just remember next time you ask for ranger buffs you might not get it just because you let us die but it is funny to see how many people pick paladin you know for divine intervention or anything like that or divine aura honestly i would have picked a lot more other classes but the polls have a limit of five choices i had to go with the obvious and it's obviously ranger the ultimate floor tank. So anyways guys, that is it. Like I said, I just wanted to recap the new progression servers. Uh, you got Viniki and Yelenak, but Mischief seems to be the way to go for a lot of people for who want to stick around with the community. Um, you have Omens of War to look forward to that's going to be dropping in just uh, one short week. So we're, a lot of us are sticking around. We're really excited for Omens of War to drop. That means you get epic 2.0s, you get level 70, you get a whole slew of like 250 more AAs that you can work on. I think we're here to stay. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.